Okay, part two, the exchange tour, 2007. Where'd they go? Frisco, LA, Phoenix, and Sin City. Wicked. Wicked, look at them. That looks, so that looks, this would be a pure guess for me. That'd be Cacao, that'd be Sever. Oh, it says right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Of course I'm right. Anybody would be right if you know what cacao style is. It's that. That's Sever style and that's Bait style. You could, you cannot mistake them. Don't you know this style? Now, how about that for walk, right? In fact, I would just love that as a poster. That is the kind of wall, in my experience, that every writer wants to be part of. Every writer wants to be a part of a mashup wall like that. Um, interestingly, I was, so I was talking about this to a mate recently. Who, I've never been part of a wall like this um, because I'm such an anti-social painter. I'm mostly part of my own. I can literally name you all the people right now who I've ever painted with in 35 years. I, in fact, I will do, just to prove my point. So I started painting with Tear, then Icon, uh, Hush, Nasha, Blavo, Ink Fetish. Six writers. That I've painted with. I haven't painted with. Have I? Oh, no, no, sorry, there's one more. Um, uh, Wrecker as well. Yellow 301. I've painted with him as well. Um, I don't think I'm missing anybody else. Uh, I've been out with other writers. I've been out with them, you know, on, on road, as they say. But I haven't painted with any others other than that because I've mostly been somebody I, I do it on my own. Always prefer to do it on my own. But the thing is, if you do it on your own, you get you miss out on this. Because the walls I painted, I, I mostly painted with Hush. For those of you that know me, you probably know Cute Hush. M me and Simon were a double act for a while. Um, sadly, he died in 2016, which is why I don't really paint as much anymore. Because it's a bit of a shock to, to your system when you're, when you're, sort of, when your number one partner in, in painting dies. Uh, suddenly, you don't really want to do it anymore. Because I'm not even that interested in doing it on my own anymore. But but this, when you see this, you kind of go, oh, yeah. Because I've got some invites at the moment, right? I'm, I've got some invites to go to a few places. I get a lot of invites to go and paint. And I turn them down, mostly. Um, because I just want to... I'm not really interested in getting the art. I've done the art for so long now. I don't, I'm not interested in getting it out there or anything. Everybody knows who I am, all that. You know, who cares? But... Uh, but I, I wouldn't mind hanging out with some mates. And I've got some mates who are asking me at the moment to go and do something more like this. And I might do it, you know. I might just do it. You never know. This summer, I might do it. We're into summer now. I've got a couple of months of summer left. I've got to think about it. What a beautiful wall, right? Dream wall. Ewok. Revoke. Rhyme. That looks like yes there. Yeah. That's actually pursue. Oh wow, interesting. That looks like sever. Arrow. Oh. Bates. Yeah, I'd say. Mm, yeah. Snow. Yeah. Oh, that says yes. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit lost there. Yeah. Interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that was yes from that style. I wouldn't have got that. Wouldn't have got that. Wouldn't have got that one. Oh, that's search. I wouldn't have got that either. Doesn't look like his stuff particularly. Interesting. Who's that? Is it Steam? Maybe. Anyway, sorry, just thinking I had. Right, okay. Great wall, right? More joiners. Look at these joiners. Look at that for a piece. I mean, bear in mind, this is like 15 years ago now. 15 years ago? I can't believe this is 15 years ago. 15 years ago, people were uh, dropping this stuff. Look at that one there. Oh, that's gnarly, isn't it? God, Revoke did some great walls. Great walls. The thing is about all this stuff, right, is that as an artist, you never stay still. You're always moving. You're always moving forward. You're always developing, moving on, all that. 
and none of these guys paint exactly like this. Jersey Joe's got a very similar style now. Um, Bates, yeah, Bates has got a similar style now as well. Uh, Totem 2, but they've all moved on though. They've all moved. Some of them have got even more so and are, are much better. And in, Well, they've all got better, but, you know, it, some of them just don't. Like Revoke doesn't paint those type of burners anymore. Went to like the third round now, by the way. So I'm getting carried away talking about other stuff. You, anyway, you get the picture. You know what you're looking at. But um, but yeah, you sort of if you were a big fan of Revoke 15 years ago, you sort of wanted to do what he did then, and he can't because it's 15 years ago. He's moved on. He's adapted and developed and uh, grown. This guy is, is probably my all-time favourite. Him and Ewok are my favourite artists from. Well, Society Kings, they are just amazing. But this guy's my absolutely tippity top favourite pose. Uh, is I mean, look at the look at the colours he combines. To be able to combine colours like that, and uh, and his effects and everything, and the movement of his pieces, everything's like on the move all the time. Royds is brilliant as well, but again, he doesn't paint like that anymore. This is not Royd's this Royd style. He mostly does font work now. And his font work is brilliant. He's a superb artist. You know, big time illustrator, Royds. But this was my favourite. And most you know, for a lot of us, it was it was our favourite sort of time for looking at his work. Because he was doing this amazing sort of space age kind of mental font style. Just wonderful. You'll see anyway because there's more of it in a minute. Oh, this guy, Scotty sixty, uh, Scotty seventy six. Again, graphic and beautiful his stuff. Saval from Switzerland, fantastic artist. Again, you know what he can do with this 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 letter set is just amazing. Serum. He's got lots of different styles up his sleeve. I know I've seen some of his stuff. They too don't really know his stuff. SWK, yeah, taboo, yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at them colours. Weesh. I mean, what a beautiful NYC style as well. Absolutely gorge. Yum yum yum. You know, I love the black and whites. Askew, very special artist. Askew. Mad madness. Look at them flames coming off there. Beautiful paintwork. Just beautiful paintwork. Gonna learn a lot from just taking that and having a really have a look at that. And he's done that. Here he is painting it. Sorry, that's pose, I should have mentioned. This is this is pose painting the skew. Again, this guy's got amazing technique. And and while I'm not a fan of talking about just technique, it is worth noting. Look at his scale as well. Look how large he's doing it there because that gives you an idea of how large you need to do a piece on a wall to get that kind of effect. Yeah, beautiful. Really beautiful. Love pose. Oh, nice. Arrow. Arrow over serum. So good. Who's that? Inso Serum. Wow. Nice. You can see what I mean, right? This is one of them uh, books that you want up your sleeve. Ooh, beautiful. That looks like. Who is that? Because it looks a bit like. Um, that looks like Rhyme Style, but it can't be. Cakes. That's who it is. Beautiful technique. Really beautiful. I'm talking a lot about technique. I never talk about technique. Come on. <laughs> Saval. 
paint a poet style sketch. It's interesting that because I can I can still tell it's Saval. Maybe it's because I can read the letters, maybe it's just that. But but he, Saval does not do letters like that, ever. It's totally unlike his style. Again, from from this time, Royce was doing pieces like this. So there's his sketch, and Ruiz has actually paint painted that. But that is absolutely a, a Royce font. He was doing loads of pieces like this, and I really miss this time with beautiful bevels on them and everything. Oh God, they were so good. They were so good. Used to do bits sort of disintegrating off his pieces and most of oh, so brilliant. At one point Royds was probably like the, the the sort of the top style writer in this country. Style matters. There's some great text in there as well. If you can be bothered to read it. Always loved this by the way. This is a great fill, the black and the dark purple with the red 3D on it. What a beautiful I mean, look how that pops out, really stands out, doesn't it? Let's give that a go one of these days. Oof, colour explosion. So good. That's got to be rhyme. Yeah, there. Oh, no. It says yo rhyme. Snow. Is it snow? Painting rhyme? God damn, it's good. Savelle. Is it by Savelle? Savelle paints a jerk. Ah, yeah, it is Savelle. Rhyme. Lovely. Get a bit confused uh, in, in the exchange because of the, the nature of the exchange. Sometimes they're painting their own names, sometimes painting somebody else's names. Oh, damn, look at that. Rhyme. Rhyme painted by Ewok. Ewok painted by Ryan. I mean, those two pieces alone are just absolutely beautiful. So that's Revoke by Ruetz. That's Ruetz by Revoke. Very revoke -y style, right? So basically, they're painting other people's names in their own styles. Oh, God. I mean, they're, they're just fabulous. And these as well. Look at these. Oh, that's Pose. That's got to be Pose. Is it Pose? I put money on the fact that's Pose. Doing Ewok. I'm a bit dyslexic, by the way. Um, you may have gathered already. But if sometimes... Because you, you might be thinking, why can't he read it? It's right there. Well, because um, sometimes words elude me. Sometimes they get mixed up for me. Letters get mixed up. So sometimes, if you see a word like that and you go, why can't you read the word credits? Because I'm looking at it going, what does it say? <laughs> and desperately trying to sort of decipher it. And if I'm talking at the same time, I've got no chance. So just to give uh, these guys another a plug, because um, it's worth it. Look at some of this stuff. I mean, you, you struggle to get some of this stuff, unfortunately. Um, oh, these are shops. These are all shops. Yeah, graphcity.com, it's one of the biggest in the UK. Chrome and Black, big one in, in London. Uh, the Bench, that's up in the Midlands somewhere. It's all UK this stuff. Uh, Bombing Science, they're Canadian, I think. Are they? No, they might be American. Yeah. Anyway, you know this school. You know where to get your stuff. Um, Art oh, Primo, big famous one in the US. So yeah, plug them again uh, on the run books. Check them out. Check them out all their, their titles. Check these ones out. And other ones. And uh, I don't know how many they did in the end. Maybe it was 20 or something. This is number eight. But they are all absolutely superb. The exchange. Get it if you can. Like I say, 40 quid. It's not cheap. But you can see what's in there. And uh, yeah, enjoy.